What's up, everybody? Well, this is uh, part two of my video. See the airplanes coming in over there. Probably one right above us. There it is. Three of them in a row. Anyway, so that was a lot of fun. I, uh, I got to drive the carts around and deliver people to their cars because there's just so many people coming and going. It's pretty sweet. That was a lot of fun. I'm very glad that I did that. Volunteering at the church for Easter. So, if you've watched my other video, uh, you basically know my my thoughts and uh, there's a couple of thoughts that I could add to that that are probably very important and those thoughts are basically that uh, just because one lives a blessed life doesn't mean there's not some heartache and some very difficult times because there is and that's something to note um, it's very important to think about and to know that like just because you have faith or because you believe or whatever the case may be that does not mean things are going to be just easy so yeah I wanted to kind of bring you that thought and let you know and uh, make you realize that things are still difficult but the important part is the journey that you're gonna take to get there the journey is going to be much 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 easier because you got people helping you you've got people praying for you you've got support from the church family when you need it for me, I go to church every weekend, and for me, you know, to be honest, almost every single time, not always, but almost every single time, you can feel the message be pretty, uh, pretty particular towards your situation, because a lot of people have the same situation, and a lot of what's taught, right, is uh, very common. For people to uh, to be experiencing so anyway I'm gonna go off into the wind I may finish this conversation when I get out of the wind because it's not real fun in the wind it's noisy you shall find it noisy and I gotta concentrate on my driving Oh, St. Rose slash Picos Road. Finally off the highway. I'm not the biggest fan of the highway. I didn't have to ride very much on the highway in California. Here it's kind of the only way to get around in the big part. But yeah. Cool. So anyway. Talking about... Uh, you know, living a blessed life and realizing that it's not all easy just because you lived a blessed life. And uh, some people, they think it is. Some people are blessed with an easy life, but most people, uh, most, almost all, have a rough time making it through this life. And, uh, yeah, for me, I've heard so many stories that, uh, you know, just picking up a Bible and reading it and hanging out with people that are like-minded, that believe, they really, uh, really does something to you. And it is a big deal. I think I'm going to go around these cars. was fun. That's almost like being on the highway. 
I gotta get into the turn lane, man. Whee! So, all I can tell you is my story. Some people say, hey, Russ, how do you come up with these amazing opportunities? Things that happen to you. Well, a lot of it's in the unknown. A lot of the things that I do, I sort of jump off the cliff, man. No risk, no reward is how some people look at it. Uh, I can kind of agree with that. If you don't take a risk and, you're get, and you get comfortable, when you get comfortable, man, that's when it's bad. I've been comfortable a few times and I realize that my life is pretty well dolled out and it'll stay there if that's what you want. You can, you can stay in a happy medium and don't reach out and be comfortable but nothing changes it's just that's it stay the same so for me I like to reach out by reaching out you uh, can accept and return and uh, yeah I truly believe that my my story is interesting I my sister used to urge me to go to church and all these things and personally I didn't want to but I did, eventually, and I did it, mm, I'd have to say mostly because my wife, she, uh, she's most of the reason, and I'll say one of the hardest things I ever had to do was, uh, tithing. That was really hard. Something about that. Something about thinking that what you earn is yours, and realizing that it's not and then letting it be used for other purposes than yourself and in return you'll be blessed with things you never thought you'd ever have that's the only way I can say that anything I've ever gotten has been that way and not that uh, good things don't happen to people that don't believe or something like that I'm not saying that what I'm saying is, is if you had to look around and you had to choose and pick stories to make it to make your you know thinking work in that mentality of thinking where well you know this is going to happen despite these other things and say well when you look around and you start adding up all those things and you see people who are blessing other people living a blessed life and you see people who are not and you see the amount of stories you get from one and not from another and you just start adding it all up there's something about this universe that you just you just can't understand and I think that's one of them so I really believe that if you want to live a blessed life you gotta be a happy cheerful giver you got to give your time, your talent, your efforts, your money. Not that you can't enjoy any of those things, but you also need to let some of those go. People are greedy. People are mine, 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 me, oh, me, oh, mine. Now get out of here. I don't want any part of that. I don't think that, uh, I don't think that's a, a good mentality. My opinion is that that's a really hard way to live because then the only thing you're ever gonna get is the things that are yours and there are other people who want to give you things there's other things out there that would otherwise happen to you if you were open but when you're closed all selfish it just don't work that way and uh, it's one of those things, I will never say something that I don't truly believe or I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest something to you if I hadn't done it myself type of thinking. And this is one of those. It's been a long time, it's been 12, 11, 12 years now since the beginning and I, uh, I told this story in the last last video of uh, the most important video I ever posted video 
and it, it really is it's like when you understand and you get involved and you really see lives changed and I, uh, vo I volunteered at the church and helped build the church for three months straight and uh, you know I did all that and I did that because it was a choice and that was probably one of the best choices I ever made and uh, while I was in California you know the, the crowd there is a little different and I I grew a little bit away from my faith even though I, I hung on to it I, I wasn't quite nearly as uh, as involved as I was before I left Indiana and moved to California and now I'm in Nevada and I really believe this is a uh, the scenario here is is so that I can grow in my faith and I really believe that and I have a hard time I have actually had a really hard time here so far things haven't been easy they feel like they could be easy if I just let go of all my my uh, I guess if I, I, I should say if I walked a hundred percent in my faith but uh, sometimes reality pushes back and it's hard to uh, just walk out there into the unknown not knowing what the outcome is knowing that I'm responsible for my family and stuff and uh, whatever happens to me happens to them as far as financially but uh, since we moved here we've we've graduated to uh, an actual tenth a real tithe before we were just giving a gift which is considered less than a tenth and a true tenth is before taxes we're technically not there yet but we're like really close and it's one of those things you just make the choice you realize that a heavier power besides you is going to use that and in return you'll be blessed with more and you don't do it because someone tells you to you do it because you believe and you're happy you're a happy cheerful giver and when you're a happy cheerful giver man the world is such an amazing place and don't get me wrong the world can be a devastating place but at the exact same time, the world can be such an amazing place. But you have to let it. You have to be open. And uh, hopefully this is making sense, because I'm just jibber-jabbering. But uh, at the end of the day, we need to love one another. We need to accept our differences. Every single person grew up from a different background and a different faith, etc., etc., no faith at all, whatever the case may be. But one thing's for sure, each and every one of us can make the choice to live the type of life that is rewarding. That is truly rewarding. And I have to say, I, uh, I'm so happy that I have friends who are such faithful people because a lot of the times half the battle is having friends that you can talk to in a hard time and that have the same faith beliefs it's interesting a lot of the people Mr. Gear a lot of the people on my channel and forums and everywhere else they're really faith driven people most of them not all of them but I have respect for those who are not which is why I do not preach to these type of people I just tell them my story plant those little gold nugget seeds and uh, in time they will grow because the most important way the most important I guess way to show people about your faith is show them how it works in your life show them how it works in your life tell them your story and I've told my story in that other video and I'll link it and uh, yeah that's all I really got to say 
I'm just so thankful for you guys who watch my video, who leave me comments, who cheer me on, who give me some positive criticism. You know, it's good. It's needed. And you can easily fall into that trap of that one comment that's negative or that one guy who said something that you didn't like. It's easy to fall into that trap. That's a red light, buddy. But hey, who's counting? So, at the end of the day, yeah, I still take it one day at a time, just like the rest of you. So, we'll see you all in the next video. Oh, by the way, my speedometer is way off. I'm not going nearly as fast as it says. All right. God bless. Have a good day. Happy Easter. Now you got two videos for the price of one. All in one day. How about them apples? I sure hope the audio recorded. Because, uh, yeah, I spent a few hours today trying to fix the audio. And I had to record it offline. So, whatever. Peace out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. The moon is covered up. You can't see it. I'll leave you a picture of the moon that I took yesterday on Good Friday. It's amazing. It was at the end of my uh, other, other video. Bye-bye.